Alan and Diane Hale, together with Elizabeth Regnery, invite you to celebrate the wedding of Deborah Hale to Matt. What's Regnery. going on, Phil? Yeah, why did you drag us out here? You want to give Max and Deborah a really cool wedding gift, right? Well, I hate to break this to you, but Max already owns this barn. No, I'm talking about this. <gasps> cool. I figured we could give them a horse-drawn carriage ride to the church. That's so romantic. It needs to be cleaned up, but we could all work together. What do you think? It's perfect. So, which horse is going to pull it? I was thinking... I know. Come on, do you guys have to fight about everything? Well, I was just going to say that maybe Teddy should pull the carriage. What? Yeah, I mean, without Phil, we wouldn't even have the carriage. So it sort of makes sense. I was going to say Belle should do it. And maybe we could both drive the carriage. Sure. It's only fair, right? Did she just say... I heard it, but I don't believe it. OK, I'll see you guys later. What was that all about? What was what all about? You know, Stevie and Phil <laughs> sitting in a tree. I was just trying to be nice. To Phil, you hate him. No, she doesn't. She loves him. <laughs> I do not. Well, I knew it. You have to ask him out. What if he says no? This is Phil. He's liked you since, like, forever. OK, I'll do it. Would you like to go out with me? Hey, Phil, want to catch a movie? <laughs> hey, Phil, I uh, wanted to ask you something. Sure. Well, um, I was wondering... Phil! I've been looking for you everywhere. I was watching Teddy's turn on the forehand. He's so good at it. Could you help me teach Garnet? Sure, I guess. Great, let's go. Just a sec, Veronica. What did you want to ask me? I'm sorry. Did you want to say something to Phil? It's not important. I'll tell you later. <laughs> hey, Phil, want to grab a brush? Sure. So, are you two working on the carriage by yourselves? Uh, no. You're helping us. Sort of. <laughs> Stevie's not here. Huh? Oh, sure, whatever. I'll see her later. Not that I was looking for her. Just, you know, I see her around all the time. Hey, Lisa. Remember Max and Deborah's first date? What about it? Well, Deborah was always saying how romantic it was when Max gave her chocolates. Remember? Oh, yeah. And didn't he give her a love letter? <sighs> Deborah couldn't stop talking about how sweet Max was. Well, he just knows how much women like it when you show them how you feel. Um, I just remembered I have to do something right now. We are good. Stevie so owes us. Will you go on a date with me? Yours, Phil. Would you stop flinging your hair in my face? My hair doesn't fling. It cascades down my back. 
Not that you'd understand, little Miss Ponytail. I don't know if you noticed, but you wear ponytails too. Yes, but on you, it's juvenile. On me, it's stylish. Hi, Phil. Hi. Hey, Stevie. Hi. What's this? Oh, no, Veronica. Don't open that. Oh, Phil, of course I'll go on a date with you. Look, Stevie. Whatever. Stevie. So, Phil, when do you want to go on our date? I can't wait to see what Phil gave her. Do you think he got her flowers? Or maybe those lollipops that look like flowers? That would be perfect for Stevie. Why don't you ask her yourself? So, tell us all about it. All about what? What happened with Phil? You heard about that. You can quit playing it cool. We know he was about to make his move. Oh, he made his move all right. On Veronica? What? <gasps> he was asking Veronica out. No way, I know he likes you. <laughs> oh, Phil, you're so funny. <laughs> oh, Phil, you are... I'm so oh, sorry, Stevie. We, we never would have told you to ask him out if we knew. It's no big deal. I never really liked him anyway. And we can do it. Hey, Lisa, what are you up to? You know how we were talking about the best present for Max and Deborah? What about me getting first place in the Oak Ridge Hall Show for Pine Hollow? But, Lisa, the jumps at that show are too high for you. I've been so slow improving. I reckon it's time to show Max I've graduated at last. Yep, they'll be setting up the day before and the hall is booked. Wedding cars. I've checked on them. We're all set. Church and minister. Oh, that's me. I confirmed those this morning. And I'll pick up my wedding dress tomorrow. It looks like it's all coming together at last. Mm -hmm. What about the honeymoon cruise? The first thing I did was pay the final instalment. We are set. Right. Mm, 20 days in the tropics, hopping from island to island on a luxury liner. Mm. Why didn't I get married before? You hadn't met me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey. yeah. Oh, I know I'm driving everyone crazy, but I just want our wedding to be perfect. Everything's taken care of. Nothing can go wrong. Lisa, listen, it's too high for you. You've jumped prance over it. I've seen you. Yeah, but Carol's way more experienced than you. How am I going to learn if I don't take risks? That's too big a risk. I think if Lisa wants to do it, we should just let her. You just want to see her crash. I'm not going to fall. No, I basically don't like seeing Lisa being bullied by someone who thinks she's the queen of the jumping ring. I reckon first prize is the best gift I could give them. So I need to practice. I can't believe it's so soon. Oh, you've still got time to change your mind. Oh, and miss out on the cruise? Oh, yeah. What's Lisa up to? We can do it, girl. Lisa! Get an ambulance. Hurry, Deborah. Please, Lisa, wake up.
The doctor says she has concussion. I had a concussion once. It wasn't like this. Lisa's brain's been rattled around a bit, so it's bruised and shocked. What it does to protect herself is it just shuts down, a bit like a computer going to sleep mode, and then it repairs itself. How long will it take? We don't know. Lisa's wrapped herself in her favorite blanket to feel warm and secure. She won't come out until she feels safe. Why did she try it? It was far too hard for her. She, she wanted to win the Oak Ridge on Saturday. It's a wedding present for you. stop her but I didn't it's not your fault Veronica I egged her on I knew it was too high way too high Lisa's parents will be back at eight o'clock poor things are absolutely exhausted Mrs. Rick, what can we do? I feel so useless. We can't do anything. Oh, yes, you can. Lisa's brain is resting. It needs time to heal. But that doesn't mean that she can't hear you. What you have to do is keep her in the land of the living. Just remind her of all the things she's missing. And you can bring her back. No writing for anyone today, Comanche. But I don't want you to get bored or sad. I know. I'll teach you some tricks. OK, I'm going to put the blanket on your back and you can pull it off. OK, pull the blanket off. How did you get that? Good boy. <sighs> Lisa, we're calling a saddle club meeting right here. We have a very important agenda for this meeting. It's about how much you mean to us. We've had a lot of great times together. And a lot of laughs, too and adventures. We've also had some tough times, but not once, not ever, did she let us down. So we're going to talk about all the fun we had in the saddle club. And we want you to jump right in and put us straight on things if we get them wrong. It wasn't enough that your mom nearly killed the two of us. It was the first time we met. Comanche was acting up and Stevie and I were racing back to the stables. in the driveway. Mom! You should learn how to drive! <gasps> Come on, Stevie, we have to calm them down. We really didn't like you. And when you came rushing up to me, asking me to trust you. Where's Stevie? Add on Comanche. Why? We've got to find her fast. Veronica's done something really bad. What? I'll tell you on the way. 
Please, Cal, you've got to trust me. Okay, climb on. Hold on. I didn't know what was wrong, but something in your voice made me trust you. Veronica was gonna call her pager, which she put under Comanche's saddle. He was already so hyper. What is that? Uh, hey. What is that? <laughs> yes. You really saved my butt. That's when we knew we would be best friends. Best friends forever. <clears throat> I won't stay or anything. I just want Lisa to have these flowers. Thanks, Phil. They're lovely. She looks like she's sleeping. Yeah, and we're going to wake her up. Stevie, I want to talk to you. About me and Veronica. Like I care about you and anybody, especially now. I've ever known, Comanche. Hi, Red. Watch this. I've taught him a really good trick. Okay, Comanche. <laughs> Very clever. How could you, Comanche? Easy. I'd rather the chocolate than an old brush, too. <coughs> Better be careful what you put up here, Ashley. I was looking forward to eating that myself. Well, that's the last of the RSVPs. Everyone's coming. I can't even think about the wedding at the moment. What did the doctor say today? No change. Her vital signs are good, and there's no brain damage. She's just unconscious. I'm always in the ring with the kids. Always. If I'd been there, this wouldn't have happened. Max, you can't blame yourself. All I can think about is, is how much a part of Pine Hollow, Lisa and the Settle Club girls are. It wasn't for Lisa, I would never have gotten on a horse. Never. Hey, Lisa. I'm not a big talker. Especially when I'm not sure if anyone's listening. But the girls told me we have to talk to you. Tell you to come back. We miss you, all of us. Max, Mrs. Reg, Deborah, Patch and Prancer. I was thinking last night how you helped me. Remember? When we had the fire in the barn, I was too upset. I couldn't think straight. I didn't want to think about the past, but you. You cared enough to get the material and stand up for me. You left a big hole at the stables, Lisa. Please come back. Hi, Ashley. Have you seen Mrs. Rick? Yes, she went to wash Comanche's blanket. What's that? Oh, they're lovely. Are they yours? Yeah. 
Deborah. Could you give them to Mrs. Reagan? Make sure she keeps them safe. Okay. I talked to your doctors about having you move to a private room, but these country doctors are so uncooperative. I'm sorry that I egged you on to take the jump. Stevie and Carol get me so mad. And I knew you wanted to do it. But if I hadn't, you wouldn't be here right now. I don't know what you see in Stevie and Carol, Lisa. You could do so much better. And you're so loyal to them. And they just don't deserve it. You did write some very nasty things in your diary, though. But you also wrote some very nice things. I liked what you wrote about me. I wanted to tell you. But a D'Angelo always has to be careful because people try to get at us. Daddy says so all the time. But you do have some very nice qualities. Maybe we could be friends. When you get well. I've rung everybody. They've all been very understanding. I've cancelled the church, the minister, the caterer. And the honeymoon cruise? We'll have to. Mum, my place is here till we know if Lisa's going to make it. You know, Lisa wouldn't approve of this. Especially cancelling the cruise. She thought that was the most exciting thing. You're doing the right thing, I know. I can't go on a pleasure cruise not knowing whether Lisa's going to make it or not. No. We can't. And we won't. The wedding's off. Won't you open up the door and Hello. let me